Bim&G is a game that was initially released as a demo back in 2013 and was later, in 2015, put into the Steam market as an early access game. The early access aspect though is something that hasn't disappointed. Since 2015 and the days when mainstream YouTubers like Quebec played the game while completing stunts and crossing cars, the game has gained the interest of the sim racing community with its very advanced physics, variety of driving experiences, detailed damage model and the amount of freedom it gives to the player. With that being said, is Bim and G the ultimate driving simulator of our age? Let's go and find out together in this video. Hello guys and welcome to Bim and G, the ultimate or us in my opinion the ultimate driving simulator of our age so entering the menu you can see we've got pretty much the play button which is so big that it really gets you excited for what is about to come when you press that button so pressing that button we've got straight away the campaign mode what is the campaign mode It's pretty much a few scenarios uh, that have a few cutscenes and you can just uh, you know just play them around they're not as many as the scenario mode but we're just gonna give you a bit of an idea of what the campaign Pain is and as you can see there's four official modes and then the two ones are from the community where pretty much this game is full of community things to do like a, a lot of things that the community has created a lot of things that you can download purely because the community is just purely amazing but this is just an official uh, BMG campaign uh, which I just completely failed because you actually don't have to fall off uh, Fall off the cliff as well, but you only have to drop the car off the cliff, and that's what we're going to do now. And you're just going to see how greatly this car is going to get destroyed there. So just look at that. Didn't get a good view, but absolutely crazy. The the damage model on this game, as I've said in the intro, is absolutely insane. But as you can see, a few cutscenes here and there, but pretty much the whole format of the campaign is you get thrown into one of the maps. Um, the the campaign is sort of a uh, uh, based on and you're pretty much on free roam you go um, place to play from place A to place B complete a few tasks and when you're done you just get out of them up and move on to the next one but you've got scenarios like this one when you just have to just roll the car without engine or without brake you've got delivery um, uh, t t t tasks which are just hard there goes my crate down the drain but <laughs> yeah i feel like the campaign is pretty much a mixture of the scenarios uh, that you could have uh, that you could uh, play uh, when you move on to the next pretty much mode of this game which is the scenario mode but campaign in my opinion is quite great uh, but in my opinion it just is a little bit um sort of content in comparison to the scenario which as you can see it's got the latest official scenarios from 18th of March 2021 so they're still adding things to the game they're still adding things obviously the campaign but as you can see I've got a lot a lot of community scenario modes and as you can see 6th of December 2069 that's a legitimate um, uh, date of release but as you can see loads and loads of scenarios that you can just have fun with and in my opinion this is probably the best thing about bim and g it's absolutely insane you've got 1v1 events uh, from yeah with the ai just crossing you off all the time but yeah you've got a lot of things to do you've got 1v1 races you can see right there just just racing a little bit okay he's gonna take off uh, completely uh, the rear of my car there the rear bumper but yeah the damage model is absolutely insane in this game as you may already understand i don't know if this is the first time you literally seeing this game but if you haven't you're probably like very impressed on the damage model as you can see that's side by side with that guy he's just gonna he's just gonna take me out there but we can get him now into the next corner that's what i'm gonna try and do a little bit for dive oh that was that was a bit silly by me and that is gonna be oh god so that's my car by the way um yeah you can uh, actually you want to win this uh, sort of race you just yeah, you just gotta give him a bit of a push, and there you go, he goes off, and you're into the lead, so, <laughs> pretty much all about that. Uh, how the driving is feeling uh, on this sort of cars? Oh god, oh god, thank god I missed the barrier there, but it feels, it, feel, it feels a bit clunky, if I'm being honest. It doesn't really feel perfect, but it is good enough uh, to actually be a good driving simulator in my opinion it's not bad and they've been improving it a lot uh, as the years pass so if you try and compare 
how it feels now in comparison to 2015, it is nowhere near uh, as bad. And it's it's pretty much developers that are, are working constantly on the game. They're adding new content. They're listening to the community, and yeah, I just really appreciate that. And the game is always getting better and better and better in terms of feeling, in terms of content. And um, another pretty much the type of mission uh, that you can have, the type of scenario, is really like delivering a car. And you might find this very, very easy. You might be like, well, this is very easy. But you have to remember, there's a time on the top right corner and you actually have to be quite distant, let's just say, uh, with the time. But literally, you can see how the car is just jumping on on the... Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. If it really falls out now, I'm going to be crying. But either way... Uh, yeah, it's just very very hard delivery scenarios as well as we're turning now right into the house And this is gonna be the end of that scenario But if I was a little bit faster and a little bit less cautious as I'd say that car would just fall off and we would just fail uh, miserably, but moving on to the next scenarios that I clearly enjoy the most on this game it's time for the off-road scenarios and what I want to say about this scenarios is the leap of um, leap of faith I have no idea fall of death I don't even know I don't even know how is this called but it's theoretically one of the toughest uh, official uh, BMG uh, like uh, scenarios you know and right here as you can see just right at the end you're gonna fall off the jump and yeah the car is just gonna miss a wheel and blah 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 blah. So um, pretty much this is uh, there's a lot of chances that you just keep on repeating this, keep on replaying this until you get the perfect result, which is just very very hard. Let me just tell you, as you saw there on the previous effort I had. But honestly, absolutely lovely off-road physics. That's all I'm gonna say. The off-road physics and especially these kind of cars. Look at how the suspension is moving. This is like technology that we literally we don't have in, in sim racing games. I mean, we do have it sort of like on Air Factor 2. Um, we actually have it quite a lot on Air Factor 2, but not on that level because obviously there's no uh, off-road, uh, you know, gameplay on Air Factor 2. But there's also literally. Okay, I just fell, I just fell off there. Really, really, okay. I saved it. I saved it with a bit of a break there and a bit of acceleration. So it's still on. It's still on. I don't know how we fell there, but as you can see there, as we're trying to climb up, I've uh, unlocked the, the rear differential so the rear wheels do not really move. And look at how the suspension is moving in order to go over these rocks and all that. It's just absolutely insane. I absolutely love how the suspension works and and it's all based down on the damage model as well because the damage model is so detailed that they had to have a very detailed suspension model so this time I'm trying to not gonna mess it up just got a bit of a straight there and we're gonna go over the jump this time around and complete this beautiful uh, scenario and this is now the big big jump accelerate and we made it we absolutely made it completed it and yeah, I just absolutely love this scenario. In my opinion, go on and do that scenario. It's, you're going to love it. Uh, in my opinion, it says very hard, but in my opinion, it's quite easy. And it actually gives you a good idea of, uh, you know, the overall off-road feeling of uh, this game. So look at how the car is just going to get crashed. Oh, I absolutely love this uh, damage model, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, moving on to the next uh, sort of like uh, game mode, which is the free roam. Free roam, as you may already know, what could be exciting about free roam? First of all, we've got a huge selection of maps that you can uh, choose from. And then the sporting, uh, pretty much spot that you want to choose. And there's also a huge variety of cars that you can choose from, which I'm going to show you later on. But this is one of the official uh, Bimenshin cars, not a community created one. And you might be wondering, what can I do on the free run mode? And I'm showing you right now, you can change gravity. You can do that. I've probably just destroyed my car there. But you can pretty much choose gravity either by your selection or by like um, planets. For example, zero gravity, Earth, Moon. Uh, Mars, Sun, Pluto, you've got negative Earth, which just makes the car fly off to the, yeah, to the universe. You, you don't know where that car is going to go, but let's just say you want to bring it down. Not zero gravity, but let's just choose Sun and look at, yeah, if you choose Sun from a high, <laughs> from a high ground, that's, that's what's going to happen. So, 
You really want to can destroy the car with the gravity. So don't play with gravity unless you want to do that, kids. But obviously, you can play with the environment as you can see a lot. Uh, Remapping in gravity is just probably the most interesting thing of all of these. But you can change the conditions like the fog, the cloud cover, the cloud speed. And most importantly, you can change the time of the day. So you can pretty much do everything. <laughs> you can choose the time of the day. You can do absolutely everything. As you can see now, it's night time. And I'm just going to turn on my headlights right there. Nice and easy. This game has absolutely everything. So free roam, in my opinion. If you just want to chill, have some fun and free roam, and just mess around, just play with gravity, play with the environment and all that. Um, yeah, just join the free roam. And we're not done yet. We're not done. There's far more many greater things to do on free roam than just playing with the environment. And I'm going to show you them right now. So, first of all, you've got, yeah, I've just sold you that, the simulation speed. I think I sold you previously on the cross, I'm not really sure. But, yeah, it's just pretty, pretty much playing in slow motion. But what we got right here is the more exciting thing. It's on the main menu. You've got the AI. So, what can you do with the AI? You can spawn traffic. You can spawn police. You can spawn traffic. You can spawn absolutely everything. And when you spawn them, there's a lot of things you can do with them. Now, the game is going to cross a little bit. Because literally loading a, a lot of cars, and if I look behind me, yeah, we're gonna have some cars now. And at this point, they're just gonna mind their business, you know, mind their own business, just to drive around the map and all that beautiful stuff. But there's a few selections, and one of these selections is flee, the other is chase me, and the other is just to follow you uh, through the traffic. So pretty much nothing really serious. But when you choose chase me, all of these cars are gonna try and kill you pretty much. Look at this beautiful mad physics there and there we go right in front of me you can see these cars are gonna try and turn into me oh god that was very close but yeah pretty much these cars are gonna try now and kill you all the AI cars are gonna try and kill us they're gonna try and destroy our cars you can see right there and all of these cars are really gonna try and kill me someone first person now I see a car right in front of me I'm gonna try and avoid him going to the left oh god oh god he just yeah, he just killed me yeah what happened the car is still walking, but... Oh, yeah, we're missing a wheel. We're missing a wheel. So, yeah. Got the chip for the AI. They've literally destroyed my car. And, uh, yeah, that's just pretty much how much you can play with the AI. Obviously, you can add even the police. You can do everything you want. It's just... For me, you don't have this on any other game. Uh, but either way, on the more technical stuff, you can... Uh, just uh, you know uh, enable nitrox if you want to be a little bit faster and want to have a tongue on the back of your car and uh, you can uh, just uh, increase or decrease the RPM in to, in your like uh, liking pretty much and then we move on to the fun stuff did you know you could drop off your doors could you, could you know you could do damage to your car just like that it's just absolutely insane uh, I know it, it really is just messing around at the moment but it's fun. It's fun. You can just you can just explode your car, and then you just press the extinguish button, and it will it will just go off. But you can see the car is still running. Finally, uh, you can see the nitrous bottle as well at the back. But yeah, this car is still fine, even though it's badly damaged. You know, everything is overheating and every, and all that. But I literally believe that if you don't have this on any other game, you can. We're just gonna press brake because I'm bored of driving. You know, instead of stopping the car, we're just gonna break it. But yeah, uh, absolutely insane. I feel like um, you don't have this on any other game. And next fall, you can actually... This is added on the latest update as well. You can free roam by walking. Even though your character is literally no character is 3D modeled on this game. You can just press F and just exit the car. And what you can do by pressing F is you can pretty much press control. And you can p pick apart uh, your car. You can just destroy it nice and easily. Um, for example, I just took off a window there. Uh, I can take off the pipe there. So you can do whatever the F you want. You can just grab it and just spin it around like I'm just going to do now. Look at that. Just picking it up and then dropping it down and see how much damage we can do. And that's going to happen. So, yeah, there's so many things you can do on free roam. And I feel like if you're just not going to, if you're just not feeling like doing a scenario, you can just go on free roam and just do a lot of things even just drive properly mapping in through traffic but either way next game mode is the bus routes and which i think in my opinion puts bmg 
in a very good condition of being a very very good boss simulator as you can see we've got four mobs uh, in theory the fifth one is a bit of like a stunt mob which i wouldn't recommend but for example i'm gonna choose italy and i'm gonna choose uh the longest route and this is like the best that you have uh, it's got a few uh, nice rides you got the run bus which is just for ramming uh cars off the road but you can actually put a lot of traffic medium traffic or less traffic uh, or around these maps but I put no traffic for this one just to show you a bit of the immersion of uh, this mode so you're pretty much going around Italy this time around as you can see these maps in my opinion and the graphics of the game are just very nice uh, I feel like it, the game looks very good it runs very well and the maps are very very good you know you've got your narrow parts you've got the highways you got everything everything that you would see in a real life map in my opinion but as you can see apparently there's passengers entering in but as I already told you no 3d modeling in this game so uh, no people in this game no humans in this game I should say and yeah you just drive around now we're entering a, a town pretty much and in my opinion if you just wanna chill and you're not really feeling like, uh, you know, just uh, doing scenarios, doing all that crazy stuff on this game. You can just hop on a bus uh, and just do that. It reminds me of Euro Truck Simulator, which I play um, I play Euro Truck Simulator quite a lot when I'm bored, pretty much. When I just want to chill and just drive a little bit. Uh, this reminds me of that. And uh, it is actually very well implemented. The physics on that bus, they're very nice. So I'm gonna have a bit of a jump there, uh, but yeah, the the physics are great in my opinion, and yeah, and these these are kind of nice scenarios, nice and chill scenarios. You just kneel the bus, open the doors, let the passengers in, and you just complete a scenario of uh, one of the bus roads. So that's really much bus roads on this game. And next up, we got Light Runner and Track Creator. So. What are these two mods? These two mods are purely based on futuristic uh, things. They've been released back in 2018. It's only one mob, the Glow City, which includes 10 tracks. And I'm gonna say 10 incredible tracks. And you can actually create even more by yourself on the track creating, uh, on the track, track creation mode. But obviously, you've got only one car, which is this one, which is a futuristic car, very, very fast car. And you just pretty much go. Um, trying to complete laps around these crazy crazy maps and I'm telling you they are crazy because there's literally no barriers there's literally nothing and they're just very challenging in my opinion as you can see right there full speed through this corner turning right I'm just gonna miss out on this corner there and we're gonna land the track don't we not and I'm probably let's see the damage oh god oh god remember how the how, how well this car looked but either way um, it's obviously a very very nice mode if you ask me. I feel like this mode is just just very exciting. It reminds me of the old Accelerations movies. I don't know if any of you watched Accelerations back in the day. It was a Hot Wheels series. Uh, but yeah, it reminds me of that. Like uh, driving around futuristic circuits and all that with a very very fast car. And also creating my own circuits. I mean that takes it to a whole different level. But I can't really see anything right now. Thank you game. Probably you've got to do that on first person if you ask me. So yeah. Uh, if you don't want the car to end up like that, you just got to do it on first person. So, I actually tried to do it on first person and it kept on bugging out on this specific corner. So, I don't know, it probably needs patching because look at that, it just kept on bagging out there. And I kept on falling off the circuit, obviously. But, yeah, uh, hopefully they pack, they patch this, even though they haven't really worked on this game mode since 2018. So, I expect them not to patch anything of that anytime soon but either way it's still a very exciting mode if you ask me because look at what you can create on this uh, beautiful thing it reminds me of the of the days when i was watching hot wheels and i was like oh wish i could create my own uh, tracks you know and all that and it just it just gives me that kind of vibe and i absolutely love uh, creating tracks i'm a huge fan of creating things and that's why i'm a youtuber if i'm being honest like creating uh, new videos creating new projects and all that and in general creating a new layouts for example you look at that I'm just creating my own track and you're probably gonna get Hot Wheels vibes out of that 100% uh, I'm just doing a bit of a windmill corners there and yeah you just, just have a lot of fun and you can drive whatever car you want around this uh, circuit so bear that in mind 
Uh, it's not just a futuristic car. So it's just Glow City, but you can actually, you know, uh, just drive whatever car you want. Uh, so that being said, you can drive the modded cars, you can drive uh, the original cars. And I'm moving on to the time trial mode, which I haven't got any footage from because I feel like it's pretty basic. You go on any map you want, there's all the maps, there's some certain type of tracks, there's some certain type of stages, I should say. And the interesting thing is what I'm going to show you is the selection of the vehicles. You can see these are the original vehicles that you get on this game. And they're still adding new vehicles uh, quite frequently. Obviously, it's not a huge development team, but they're still adding vehicles. Obviously, there's no official licenses, but you can pretty much understand that this is the Fiat 500, for example. And each and every single car has a certain mode. So, for example, this car has the track mode, has a rally mode, has a... A hill climb mode and every single car has so many different modes that you can just have fun with even like this car for example it has a race mode there you have it you've, you've got a rally mode for this car so you've got the atrocious mode which is a bit of a troll mode if i'm being if i'm being honest but there's so many things and if you take this into consideration combined with the community cars you've got a lancia 037 you've got the renault 5 turbo you've got the peso 205 you've got the Aston Martin Vantage, you've got the bmw m3 you've got the opera corsa 220 you've got the toyota gr yaris you've got the random express you've got absolutely everything you've got the lancia delta the audi quattro the alpine a110 you've got absolutely everything and i'm gonna be honestly saying this but this is what keeps this game alive the community obviously there's a very good development team behind this game which uh, just keeps on updating and keeps on adding new content and keeps on you know improving the compatibility with uh, all the sim racing equipment but the, the other thing that just keeps this game alive is the sim is the sim racing community of this game the bmg community just keep on making quality content i'm talking about quality here obviously there's going to be a few silly modes here and there but there's literally not only cars there's scenario modes from the community mode and i'm talking about probably a thousand scenario modes that this community has created and a lot of them are quality. A lot of them are even better than the official ones. So you can see I've downloaded a lot of ones. There's rallying, there's uh, hot pursuits with police cars, there's literally delivery ones, there's stunts. Especially the stunt mods from the community are top notch. And I'm not going to be sounding all this on this video. This, is, uh, this was supposed to be a small review, a small appreciation video for this game. And obviously if you want to see more videos on this game, make sure you tell me down in the comments below. But... In my opinion, there's just so many things you can do in this game. It's literally, it gives you such a crazy amount of freedom and such a crazy amount of creativity. If you are a creative person who just wants to have fun, then this game is 100% for you. Because it's got rallying, as I've already told you. It's got hot pursuits. It's got literally you chasing down criminals. You've got deliveries. You've got uh, stunts. You've got absolutely everything. You, even, you can even destroy your car if you just really feel like it. But... Yeah, man, this game is just an amazing game, and a lot of you are missing out if you don't, if you haven't downloaded it, and uh, if you haven't bought it. And I'm just gonna say this: with an extra twenty dollars, you can buy automations. You can see on the top right corner, sort of, you can see that option which says automation, which gives you even a further amount of uh, cars that you can download from the community. But what is very interesting about automation is, uh, is that you can uh, actually create your very own cars. And I'm talking about, yes, your very own car. You've probably seen a lot of videos from uh, Sonny Yard or Jimmy Broadman creating their very own cars. This game is called Automation. And you can pretty much import these cars into BMG, test them out, do all the crazy things that you can do on this game. It's pretty much, in my opinion, I'm going to say this. If it's not for you, the ultimate driving simulator, which I highly, you know, respect that opinion. This game could be considered the open world, the sandbox racing simulator, driving simulator of our age. It's literally got some very quality mobs, some very quality uh, cars. It's got a very active community, just uh, keep on pushing more and more content. It's got absolutely everything. And for me, BMG is literally a blessing to have on the Steam market. It's something, probably the game, as I'm just crossing my beautiful Fiat. Oh no. 
It's still walking. It's still walking fine. But BMG is literally the diamond in the sim racing uh, seriousness. It's literally a game. Now, as much as they're trying to keep it serious, it's giving us loads and loads of fun hours. And uh, it's really a game that you would uh, pretty much dream of when you were a kid. Like, doing all this crazy stuff when you were a kid. But, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And ring that bell to get notifications for any new videos. As for me and my beautiful fear that is just rolling up down the hill there. And is currently being destroyed by me. It's been your boy TM. And I'll catch you on the next video. Goodbye.